and I will go for materials that I would like to uh, report to you today. So be careful and watch what I'm going to do. First of all, folks, I would like to tell you that telecommunication or the system to work with information, um, this, this system works with the code. And I would like to tell you what code is. Code, folks, when you take the real letters like A, B, C, D, alphabet, and real numbers like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so, and convert them to the materials, to something that is not a real letters and not a real numbers. And I would like to show you first the Morse code. Morse code, I told you folks, that was designed by Samuel Morse, and Morse actually uh, create a code which is containing dashes and dots. You can see it, right? You can see it here. No, we, can, we can see anything at the top. Okay. Can you see it it's now? Good. It's good. It's good. Yes. Dots and dashes. And what is dots and dashes? He created the electrical system, which is very simple, that gives you a beep, the long beep, for the long dash and the short beat beep for the for the short dot so it works like this t tap you see and that will be a when i give you b the b will be like this two longs and one short so this will be like this t t tap that will be t, b t. you see how the long is t the short is tap you got it right so the the dash is long beep the dot is short beep okay so when when they use this that allows them to create the code and they create the entire alphabet and one of them was letter c letter s which is three shots that tap 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 and letter o that is three longs like two 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 and then they create a signal three shorts three longs three shorts and that is folks SOS signal like this can you hear it again like t -t -t -ta 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 -t -t -t. so this melody folks is a code they call it Morse code Morse code and it's still in use in Marines in army in military in everywhere and in amateur radio radio operators okay but what is good from Morse code Morse code allows you to communicate with very simple uh, very simple sound like this T for the dish and tap for the dot and even if you uh, connect two people with this Morse telegraph. They call it telegraph. And you can mm -hmm. see the video and explanation for this in my text for the content one telegraph. But this is disaster, meaning this is three symbols. Uh, one symbol is dot. Another symbol is space, meaning nothing, and the third symbol is dash. But in electricity and in magnetism, we have only two active events. If I put here the um, diagram, and then I'll put here V voltage, and that will be time. So I will tell you, the voltage is on, the voltage is off. Look at this. The voltage is on, the voltage is off. That is when I turn on the light and turn off the light. You can see it. So the voltage is off, the voltage is on. You can see the light. The light is on, light is off. So that is only two events. And the events could be named when we call it on we can say this is one when we call it off we can call it zero why so 
because any amount of voltage, let's say uh, light is on, so light multiplied by one will be one of the same light. If you have a voltage, let's say 110 volts, so which you have in the outlet, multiplied by one, you will still have 110. If you multiply it by zero, that will be zero, like you see here in this bottom piece of this diagram. So in electricity and in electrical devices, but computer is electrical device that utilizes electricity, as you know, on, from the battery or from the uh, outlet, the same thing happened. But when we talk about one and zero, which is also up and down, which is also left and right, and that will be the same. One is up, zero is down, zero is left, right is one, because right is always valuable. Okay? So that is using two symbols, two mathematical symbols, arithmetical, like one and zero, they call it binary. Binary system. Binary system. But folks, before I spoke about binary system, I would like to speak about decimal system. But what is a decimal system? System of numeration. So far, we will come back to binary system and I will explain uh, many features of binary system. But decimal system. By the way, folks, decimal system was invented by uh, Arabic um, uh, the Arabic man, uh, his name was um, Al Karizmi. I'll put it here. Al Karizmi. Al Karizmi. And he used to live in former Uzbekistan in Middle Asia. And he considered that he made a pilgrimage in ancient India. And he considered that Indians use a uh, so-called Arabic uh, system for digits. Look at this. Uh, if I put one, how many angles in the, in the number one? Only one angle. If I put l number two, you can see that will be two angles. If I put three, you will see three angles, right? When, when I make four. You can see four angles. This is how Arabic symbols, when I go for seven, then you will see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, I missed five. Let's go for five. Five is going one, two, three, four, five. Then six, folks. Six going like this. One, two, mm -hmm. three, mm -hmm. four, five, oh, six. Five. Six. All right? Then, folks, eight. Eight definitely must have uh, eight buttons, uh, eight dots inside. That will be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And nine, folks, it's like this. We'll go for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, definitely zero is round, right? How many angles inside of the zero? Zero angles. There is no angles inside. No angles inside. So, folks, now, using these numbers, we... And actually, Al Khwarizmi created the book about the calculation, and the book named Al Jabr wa Al Mukabala. It's a in Arabic language meaning. Can you tell me what's mean Al Jabr? Al 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 Jabr. What is Al Jabr? Al Jabr. Alja, Alja, 
Algebra. Al algebra, yes. He invented algebra. So algebra is algebra, meaning how to calculate. Okay. Now, if you go to analyze the number 254, right? 254. And you consider that this is money. So that will be two hundreds, right? Plus five tens and four singles. Correct? Mm -hmm. We just have a habit to consider how much money you have. I have 254. But this is 200 bills plus five ten bills plus four one bills and coins. So together will be 254. If you have something like this, uh, 1205, how much money is this? We can go for 1000. One oh, well, sorry, 1 by 1000 plus 2 200. by hundreds plus 0 tenths plus 5 singles. Oh, I have to you put see, this zero, zero. Time, zero times. No, ten zero times tenths. Zero tenths. Mm -hmm. Now, what you can see, folks, here, in this record, everything going one by one. Every grade goes one by one. Right? So, the first, the very first place is a singles. Second place is a ten. Then, third place is hundreds. And the last one is thousands. So, what if I put this way, one, two, zero, five, and I will put positions here, positions. Can you see what I write? Position zero, position one, position two, and position three. It's understandable, right? We start from zero. And now, folks, I would like to explain why we start from zero, because... We go for third position. Third position is three zeros, right? Look at this. I'm going to one multiply by one thousand. One thousand, it is ten in the power of three. Can you see this? If you multiply mm -hmm. ten by ten by ten, you will get one thousand. So you have one one thousand plus two tens in the power of two. So that is ten in the power of two, which is 100. Mm -hmm. Plus, I will continue it here. Zero multiply by 10. 10, it's a 10 in the power of one. And that is in position one. So plus five by 10 multiply by 10 in the power of one. So 10 in the power of one will be, sorry, 10 in the power of zero, because the zero position will be one. Any number in the power of zero, according to algebra, is equal one. So, I will rewrite it. I will rewrite it. One, two, zero, five. Now, folks, that is question. Why we use 10? Why we use 10? Because we have 10 digits. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 0. 10 digits available in our system. 10 digits. Mm -hmm. So this 1205 will look like this. 1 by 10 in the power of 3. Because this is third position. This is position second. Position one and position zero started from zero. Okay, plus two by ten in the power of two. This dot meaning multiply plus zero times ten, ten. in the power of one. Plus. Power of one plus five. 
five by ten five in a power of zero. zero. In a power of zero. Now we can calculate that will be one thousand. That will be two hundred. That will be zero, and that will be five. Hmm. So that is amazing, but inside of our system, which we use to calculate everything, is actually these principles. I would like to give you another principle of this system that actually make available the calculation. I will change my paper and will go ahead for this mathematical principle. Professor. So, yes. How we can use that in exam for the exam because I, I uh, exam exam so will ask you the exam will ask you what is positional uh, give me definition of the positional numeric system, and I will give it to you, and then you can read this inside of my explanation. Okay. Okay? All right. So let me go for this. Folks, now, if you, if you go for any, uh, any number in the positional numeric system... I can't, see the, like... the, I can't see the top. Okay, now let me go for the top. Now. Now you can see it, right? Yeah. You can see. So I'll put any number. Let's say uh, 652. 652. And I'll put here 10, a little 10. That's meaning this is decimal system. So this system contains 10 digits. 10 digits. So now I can relax this into these components. I'll put zero position, one position, and second position. Because this is positional system. What is positional system, folks? You will find definition in the text that in content one. But folks, now I'll give it to you. Don't uh, You can hear or you can, I can dictate. So positional numeric system is numeric system when each position of digits multiplied by weight of this position. So weight of zero position is one. Weight of the first position in is 10 in a power of one. Weight of the second position is 10 in the power of 2. You see, all the positions, which is indicated by 6, 5, and 2, must be multiplied by their weight. So let's start with 6. 6 will be multiplied by 10 in the power of 2. Why power of 2? Because position of 6 is second. So we're talking about 6, 100, and then 100 is 10 square, right? Do you remember what is what is um, power? So if I say... Well, you have to multiply the digit by the... Digit uh, by itself, the by itself. The, so let's say 2 power. in the power of 3, right? 2 in the power of 3, yes. that will be 2... By two, two times two by two. times two. By two. Yes, by two. Three times multiply. And then result will be eight. Three square will be nine. Nine. Ten in a power three, of nine, three times three. I understand. Yes. That. Ten in the power of three will be one thousand. Ten by ten will be hundred. Mm -hmm. By ten will ten be by thousand. Three times. I understand. Ten. That. that will be ten by ten by ten. You got it, right? 
Yes, I understand that. Okay, then that will be 6 multiplied by 10 in the power of 2 plus 5 multiplied by 10 in the power of 1 plus 2 multiplied by 10 in the power of 0. False. Any number, any x in the power of 0 will be 1. This is algebraic rules. Then we can calculate this. This will be 2. That will be 50. Correct? And that will be 600. All together will... Yes. When, when you say... When you say... 2 times 10 power 0... Like... It didn't have any power. 2 multiplied by 10 in the power of 0. But 10 in the power of 0... No power. Will be 1. 10 in the power of 0. Okay. 2 is multiplicator. But 10 in the power of 0 is 1. Mm -hmm. Got it? Yeah. Okay. Maybe we so need to get... practice. We need to do to make some practice. You can you can do practice uh, whenever mm -hmm. you would like to. I mean, I will do a few things together with you now. So that will be six fifty two, which was started. Okay, let's make this way. Um, Four thousand fifty two dollars, right? How to relax this? We'll go for positions first. Zero, one, two, three. And then it will be four. Where four came? Because this is four on third position, right? Then multiply by 10 in a power multiply of 3. Multiply by 10 three. three times? Not 10 three times. 10 in a 3 power. Yes. You see the difference? Uh, 10 three times will be 3 multiplied by 10. That will be no, 30. But no, 10 I, I in said, a power... I said, I said 10... Three, not by three. Ten. No, by yeah, ten, you you pronounce ten. it incorrectly. Three times. Three times. I, I said three Jane, times. Jane, ten, Jane, three Jane. Three not times. not a three times. You must okay. say mathematically correct. Ten okay. in a three power, or ten in a power of three. All right. Mm -hmm. Can you remember that? Yeah, I 10 in the power of 3, like this, 10 in the power of 3 will be 1,000. I got it here. 10 by 10 by 10. That is 1,000. So, this one is 4,000. Plus 0. Multiply by 10 in the power of 2. 10 in the power of 2. This is 10 by 10, right? So that will be actually 0. Why 0? Because 10 by 10 is 100. But 100 multiplied by 0 will be 0. Continue. 5 multiplied by 10 in the power of 1. Power of 1 is just itself. So that will be 50. Correct? Mm -hmm. Plus 2 multiplied by 10 power. in the power of zero. 0. Power of 0 is 1. So that will be 2 multiplied by 1. That will be 2. All together will be 4,005 tenths 2. Can you see it here? Yeah. Okay, so folks, the digital decimal numbers, they call it decimal because decima 
from Latin language meaning uh, ten. So ten is basis of our system of calculations. Why ten? Because I have ten fingers, right? Look at this. And you have ten fingers. And people use ten digits from one to zero. Like this, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and zero, not ten. Because ten is quantity. It's not a digit. We're reviewing a single digit. Now, let's come back to this, to the thing that we reviewed here. I said that we have in computer, we have only binary system. Why binary? Because electricity is on is one, electricity is off is zero. We don't have five digits, we don't have six, seven digits, and ten digits. We have only two digits. Two digits. What is this? This is one and zero. And computer can calculate. How computer can calculate just using just using a small such a small number of digits? Only two. So it's it's used binary system. And I can try to express a binary quantity, let's say Q, and I'll put here the word bin, bin meaning binary, Q meaning quantity, just put equal, and I put everything that came to my head. One, zero, one, zero, one, one. I put these numbers which computer used instead of one, two, three, four, five. Now, folks, we need to find out what is equal in computer language. All right? In computer mathematical impressions. We need to do the same thing. I put here zero, one, two, three, four, four and five. five. That is positions in the binary, binary quantity. Now what I need to do, instead of 10 here, here what I need to do, I need to calculate 1 multiplied by 2 in the power of 5. Why 2? Why the secret Why is 2? two? Because, because we have only two, 2 digits. Here we have 10 digits, right? So I use 10. But in binary system, we use only two digits. So I use number 2. 2 in the power of 5. Then plus 0 multiplied by 2 in the power of 4. Plus 1 multiplied by 2 in the power of 3. Plus 0 multiplied by 2 in the power of 2, plus, I'm going later down, 1 multiplied by 2 in the power of 1, plus 1 multiplied by 2 in the power of 0. Now look at this. Multiplier 1 came from this record. So it started with 1, next will be 0, next will be 1, next will be 0, and then two ones, right? But power came from the position. Now I need to go and calculate two in the power of five. How to calculate this? Two by two will be four. Two in the power of three will be eight. Four multiplied by two, right? Two uh, in the power of four will be 16 because we need to multiply it by two. And the two in the power of five will be, tell me, 32, right? Again. Two power of uh, two, two times two by times two, two times by two, two times two by times two, two by two. And you can find two by two, four by two, eight by two, 16 by two, 32. 32 multiplied by one will be 32. Plus two, multi two in the power of four, 16. You can 16. hear. You can 16, but 0 multiplied, right? Mm -hmm. uh, this is 0. Plus 1 by 2 cubed. 
2 in the power of 3. That will be 8 is to the power eight. of 3. Yes, 1 multiply by 8 plus 0, because 2 by 2 is 4, it's but zero. 0 multiplication. 0 plus 1 by 2 in the power of 1. This is just 2, correct? Mm -hmm. plus and one. plus 1, genius. You say 1. So 32 plus 8, mm -hmm. that will be 40 plus 3, the result will be 43. Folks, what does that mean? That means that using binary, binary expressions, binary expressions, I can express decimal numbers, 43 decimal. Using binary digits, decimal numbers, decimal quantities, using binary digits. Which computer doing? You know, computer encoding this into binary digits. Okay, let me do another sample. I will take another another one, 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 zero, one. And that will be binary. Can you see it? One, 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 zero, one. One, 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 zero, one. B, B, okay, binary, and I'm going binary. to write, yes, it's a binary, but bin. I'm going to find the positions. Zero, one, two, three, four. Position four. Folks, on exams, that will be quite like this question. I'll give you the binary, the binary quantity, and then I will ask, how much is this? How much of this? And the way, how to calculate how much of this? I'm going to do this. 1 by 2 in the power of 4. Why 2 in the power of 4? Because the, this one on the fourth position. Why is multiplied by 1? Because why on the you, fourth position. Professor. Yeah. Why you said 2? How you, where you find it, uh, this is 2? Two because in binary system you have only two digits. One oh, and zero. Binary system we have only two digits. Okay. The first one is two. The first one is two in the power of four. Where two? Okay. Because the binary system has two digits. And where it's four? Because this position is the fourth position. Next will be one multiply by two in a power of three. Why three? Because the third position is next. Plus one by two in a power of two. Why power of two? Because the third position here is second position, position number two. Then you will see zero. That will be plus zero times two in a power of one. Can you see it? And the last mm -hmm. one will be 1 times 2 in the power of 0. Now we need to calculate. How to calculate? Let's start from here. 2 in the power of 4. That will be 2 by 2 by 2 by 2. So 16, multiply all 16. of this. That will be 16. And 1 is not changing it. Then... 2 in the power of 3 will be 8. 2 in the power of 4. Uh, sorry, it's, 2 in the power of 2 four. will be it's 4. Four. <laughs> that one will be 0. Correct? Because mm -hmm. this is 0. And this one, 2 in the power of 0 will be 1. It's that will one. be 1. Now I need to, need to add all of them. That will be... 24... Uh, 28, 29. 28, 29. 29 in decimal. Now, you see, folks, we can mm. now interpret binary quantities and convert them to decimal quantities, which is unbelievable, right? Which is computer doing. We did it on the paper. What it proves that any quantity, for example, 
money that you have, like your salary. Uh, consider that my salary is um, 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 for hour. I have uh, like this. I have one, 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 zero per hour. Let's calculate. Zero, one, two, three, four. That will be no more. Let's say five. Like this. And that will be binary. This is my salary per hour. Let's calculate. One by two in the power of five plus one by two in the power of four plus one by two in the power of three plus one by two in the power of two plus one by two in the power of one plus zero. Zero because this is zero. So two in the power of five, we already know that is 32. Two in the power of four is 16. Two in the power of three is eight. Two in the power of two is four. Two in the power of one is two. And this is zero. Now we need to add all of them. And that will be 40, 54, 60, 62 dollars. That is my salary. I made a mistake. My salary is 68, but uh, you can see like 60, 62 looks like in binary system. So you can express the salary just to put the dollar sign here, right? Now, folks, next interesting feature of the binary system. To see this feature, we first need to figure out how we're doing addition in decimal system. In decimal system, we have one very interesting rule. This rule is this, the last digit before the highest digit, the highest digit, I'll just put it, the highest digit plus one will be one zero. In decimal code, in decimal, that will be nine. The nine is the highest, right? Nine plus one, we have so-called 10, but 10 looks like not less than one zero. The highest digit plus one, is one zero. Everybody understood what I do? Can you can you correct the answer for the Jen? Mm -hmm, I see. Okay. So the highest digit plus one is nine plus one will be ten in decimal. But folks in binary system the highest digit is what? What do you say? In decimal system the highest digit is nine because eight is higher than seven nine is a higher than eight the higher than nine we don't have a higher digit it's a biggest digit right but what about binary system what is the biggest digit in binary system when somebody asks you can you list me the digits of decimal system and you so proud will say one two three four five six seven eight nine even starting with zero zero one two and so but in binary system, somebody asks you, can you list me binary digits? And zero, it says zero, and one, two. and nope, no two. Zero, zero, and one. Zero and one, and that's it. There is no more digits. Two is already decimal, just zero and one. So, folks, the highest in the binary system will be one one but according to this rule like the highest digit plus one will be one zero in binary system highest is one plus one will be one zero come on professor you will say come on are you crazy how one plus one could be ten ten is one zero in binary because you <laughs> see the difference here is 10 in decimal this is one 
zero in binary. And that will prove that one zero in binary is two in decimal. Let's go and I will go to show you. One zero in binary system, right? How we connect it to the decimal? Zero position and one position, right? Like we did before. And that will be one times two in the power of one plus zero times two in the power of zero. This one zero and this one two. So that will be two in decimal. Nothing crazy in this record. This is nothing crazy. This is just one and one, but both ones is binary. Binary plus binary one, that will be one zero. And by one zero is two. So if you have one apple in binary and another apple in binary and will understandable can i continue guys let's take binary quantity and i will use simple quantity that will be 101 binary let's convert it to decimal that will be positions zero one and two that will be one by two in the power of two plus zero by two in the power of one plus one by two in the power of zero. Easy to calculate. Two by two will be four, that will be zero, and that will be one. So 101 binary will be five in decimal. Easy, five in decimal. Now, according to the rules that highest digit plus one is one zero, I would like to calculate 101 plus 1, but in binary system. Look at this. If I use 109 in decimal, and I would like to add 1, 9 plus 1 will be 10 zero or 10. So 0 writing and 1 carrying to the next position, correct? So that will be 1 and 1. That is decimal. Now, what about binary? What about binary code? 1 plus 1 will be 1, 0. So 0 writing, 1 carrying to the next position. The same thing. And 1 going here, and 1 just falling down. So we'll have 1, 1, 0 binary. It's not 110, because there is no hundreds in binary. That's only in decimal. Now, I would like to know how much is... 110 binary will be in decimal. Did we correct calculation or we didn't? Let's calculate this. 1 multiplied by 2 in the power of 0, 1, 2. By 2 plus 1 multiplied by 2 in the power of 1 plus 0 multiplied by 2 in the power of 0. Help me to calculate. That will be 4, that will be 2, and that will be 0. The result will be 6 decimal. Folks, this is very significant. Take a look. We took binary expression of number 5, which is 101, and we added 1 to this expression, and we get 110, which is 6 which is corrected calculation, folks. This is truly calculations that I made in binary system according to the binary rules, and I get very correct decimal results. So now you can write down, if you're doing records, you can write down the record of what I say. So... The result of calculation, of mathematical calculations, is not dependable of the system we use, decimal or binary. I can repeat it. The result of calculations is independent from the system we use, binary or decimal this is my proof tell folks look at this i took just from the from my head i took one zero one and i add one and i get one one zero and i get 
6 from 5. I will do this again. I'll do this again. Let me take this. 1, 0, 0, 1. I don't remember how much of this. So I will calculate. Position 0, position 1, 2, 3. That will be 1 by 2 in the power of 3 plus 0 plus 0 plus 1 by 2 in the power of 0. You understand why this is the 0? Because this is zeros. So that will be 8. That will be 1. The result will be 9 in decimal. Now, I will take this 1, 0, 0, 1 plus 1. And I remember the rules. 1 plus 1 in binary will be 1, 0. The highest digit plus 1 will be 1, 0. I'll take 1 plus 1, 0 writing, 1 carrying. So that will be 1, 0. Then these two digits just are falling down from top. And then I have 1, 0, 1, 0. Now I would like to know how much is 1, 0, 1, 0. And then I will go for this 1, 0, 1, 0. 0, 1, 2, 3. That will be 1 by 2 in the power of 3 plus 0 plus 1 by 2 in the power of 1 plus 0. And that will be, that is 8, that is 0, that is 2, and that is 0. And that is 10 in decimal. Folks, take a look. I took 9 in binary. I add 1 and I get 10. So, that is my proof that doing calculations in any system, binary, trinary, hexadecimal, this is a lot of different systems, folks, and we will study some of them. No matter what system you use, you always can do calculations correctly. If you use very important rules, the highest digit plus 1 is equal 1, 0. That's meaning computer, despite computer utilized binary system like electricity on and off, okay, yes and no, presence, not presence, uh, existing, non-existing, right, can make calculations in binary system with the same correctness as it is possible to make by people that use what decimal system? No questions, because our session's getting to the end. Uh, I will make this video available in a couple of days.